Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Tuesday morning, hoping all is well with you out there today, as always. Today, I'm just going to give you another update, day two of this work trip without planning out Kratom. Um, good day. Good day. Starting it off with some green mangda. And you know what I noticed yesterday? Yesterday, I found that Kratom almost helped me gain my equilibrium on this trip. But I, again, kind of like repeating what I said yesterday, not planning it out was really helpful, I think. Like, I didn't get the Kratom that I was, you know, going to get if I had planned it out. But what I ended up getting kind of was like, fine. And the, and the fact that there was no stress about like, well, what am I going to bring with me? Will it be enough? Will it be the right amount? Will it be the right kind? Like all of that stress isn't built up beforehand. And so when I'm doing it and I'm like looking and see what I got, I work with what I got or I don't take any at all. And it just makes it not a thing. And that's kind of important to me, not making Kratom a thing. Like I want to completely thrive in life, use this tool when necessary, continue on, you know? And so I kind of just didn't want it to take over whenever I go on a trip. So this is kind of confirming that feeling to me that, that that's how I operate best when I don't do that. And um, and it's working out well. Uh, green main dot, I gotta tell you, like getting here, doing the trip, settling in, settling down, getting to work. I mean, everything has just fallen into place really well. I almost wonder, I almost wonder if I had brought the sorts of Kratom that I would have brought normally, if it wouldn't be working as well. And the reason why I say that is because back when I had a work trip to New York last year, maybe it was last fall, I ended up bringing um, a type of Kratom, and I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was Green Sunda. You all might remember who listened. But um, Green Sunda, it worked really well for me. I had never used it before for the most part. But like on the trip, it was just coming in clutch. However, when I went back and I went home, it it's as if it was like a different type of Kratom almost. It was like it didn't work the same way. It wasn't as helpful or useful. And I realized that the environment was important. So while I have Kratom that works really well for me at home, maybe it's not the best one to bring with me on a trip. And what I'm finding is that so far, at least, that that seems to be the case, which is interesting to me. Green Mang Dai, use it home, and it works on a trip. So that's one of those ones that doesn't work that way. So it might be a bit contradictory. Maybe I'm not on anything here. <laughs> maybe this is just rambling without really getting to something that's concrete. But um, really so far, what I'm feeling is just that it's working out. Um, I didn't necessarily need the types of kratom that i thought i might need and that in a way that's kind of like the best part of it is that i'm just kind of working with what i've got and it's working out fine green dragon has been good white borneo has been fine although i'm like it's just not like necessary i guess for me this trip although it's been playing a good role um but i'm glad that i have green main dot it's almost like that's the one familiar face right like that's the one that if I would have chosen some, that one I would have chosen still. So that's kind of like my one that I got. And maybe that's kind of the grounding sense of it all. But um, I don't know. I think this is like a learning experience for me. And um, the grounding aspect, balance, <laughs> I don't remember what I started with. I'm tired. This is a long, this is already feeling like a long trip and it's only day two. Um, but anyway, uh, the, the equilibrium thing that I was talking about earlier. So arriving here and, and being able to like use the green uh, Kratom, uh, types of Kratom that I brought with me has helped me kind of like establish a home base because I'm such a homebody. I need a, I need things that I recognize and remember um, and that I'm comfortable around. For those of you who listen often, you would know that. And, and th that's kind of like the one thing that's kind of like established a home base for me here. It's a familiar feeling. It's helped me get my work done. Um, and it's just a, a presence of Kratom that I'm used to. So it's like, that's been nice. But at the same time, I'm still like using Kratom that I wouldn't have always chosen like on my own. So, you know, cool. New experiences. 
<laughs> All right. So far, so good. Be back tomorrow. Day three. Talk to y'all then. Bye-bye.